Hi, and welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, April 17th, 2024. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. It turns out two weeks is a long time in the world of central banks. Earlier this month, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell confidently said that recent strong economic data had not altered the overall picture of inflation moving down toward the 2% target. But it seems that has now changed, as Powell bemoaned the lack of further progress in the Fed's inflation battle this year in a speech yesterday. If higher inflation persists, rates will stay higher for longer, he suggested. The market is now pricing in, pricing in September for the first time cut. Now, with the probability of a due cut at just 14%, in between those two power speeches, there hasn't been a huge amount of data. One consumer price index reading, a producer price index print, a jobs report, and a retail sales update. It underscores just how quickly things can change. With that in mind, a June cut isn't completely off the table. The data just need to soften and rapidly. The stock market was remarkably sanguine following Powell's remarks given the circumstances and the Dow even closed higher for the day. Maybe the market saw it coming in, coming enough the Fed officials have dropped hints at cuts being delayed or perhaps a further three months wait. If it ends up being that, simply isn't the end of the world. Or it's possible the timing of rate cuts doesn't matter that much to the heavily weighted stocks such as Microsoft, Alphabet, and NVIDIA. The S&P 500 Ecowit Index failed 0.5% Tuesday. Compared with the S&P 500 0.2 drop, uh, 346 of the stocks listed on the index closed lower. Now, a strong economic can, economy can help those bigger names a boost that's likely to be highlighted later in earnings season. So, with that being said, let's take a look at today's market fluctuation. So, yesterday, we basically uh, did trade it almost to halfway of Monday's, of actually, yeah, Monday's uh, fluctuation. So, today, are we going to stay within range of yesterday so far that's what that's what the market is looking to do uh 18 000 is going to be our psychological resistance uh, level in today so let's see if that will be met it was almost met yesterday we were shy just about 16 uh, 16 points so today the market did however open up with a tiny gap up uh, so that wouldn't really suggest much much momentum to the upside, but the market is moving to the upside so far. So let's see if we could probably just hit 18,000 today. I have, I have my resistance right at 18,150. Okay, so I'm actually going to bring that down to 18,100. So the uh, S&P. S&P also uh, yesterday had the same uh, fluctuation, just really sideways movement, so just consolidation. Today we see a pretty more uh, uptick on the on on the S&P. Let's see if 51.50 will be met today. Initially, if we always continue with the sell-off uh, when the market opens, uh, in 50.50 will be our support or our target if we decide to sell. As far as the Dow goes, the Dow, but they quickly recovered. It, it went, uh, it fluctuated to the upside right around 38,600, but then it gave back, it gave back all of that, that, that gain on Monday. But yesterday, like I said, it did have kind of fluctuated in, within just within Monday's range. So today, uh, we did open just basically with a nice momentum to the upside. Let's see if 38,400 will be the target. As far as crude oil goes, well, crude oil did do, did open with a wider gap down. So momentum to the downside could be picking up. Uh, I will suggest 
be uh, be careful. But we could probably just take this, take this momentum to the downside, and just start selling. We did talk about creating that crude oil was creating a setup for a possible breakout. Well, that breakout is 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 looking to be to the downside. So, in for the Fed, obviously they do want uh some some you no know, some pressure taken off of them by having lower pro, uh, crude oil prices. So let's see if $73 will be that target for today for crude oil. Selling crude oil in the morning. All right, so not gas. Not gas yesterday just did a parabolic movement to the upside. Such a strong move to the upside. But quickly, it quickly retreated from that and just uh, closing the red. Uh, today, we had open with a gap up, a small gap up. It has been closed. But let's see if this momentum to the downside continues. 160 will be my target. So I'm selling that gas also. Gold. All right, so gold, 2400 uh, seems to be that psychological resistance level for gold, which is really holding off real well. So let's see if that will be uh, met today. Uh, at least uh, just come up to it. I have my... I'm continuing to have my resistance at 24.25. Uh, however, if we do happen to see uh, some some money taken off the table, then we could probably just fluctuate down towards the moving average initially, and then continue to our support of 23.25 and the medium of the one-year bands. Now we have silver that is also just creating that channel, you know, equal highs, equal lows. So consolidation stage, let's see if today will be the same. Uh, we closer to towards the $29 marker, and they're just retreating from there. RSI is looking to almost be entering overbought territory. Copper yesterday fluctuated to the downside towards the, towards the moving average. It didn't really bounce off the moving average, but it was close enough uh, to do so. Today, that's what it's doing. So let's see if the momentum to the upside is, it will be favored, but the RSI is entering overbought territory so it wouldn't be much too much much of a fluctuation remeeting or just visiting uh the high from monday of four dollars and 38 cents then bitcoin so halving day is coming getting closer and closer uh, for bitcoin so i will expect bitcoin just to stay hovering or just just doing sideways movement in reality just just shopping this here as far as for the currencies go, well, the euro seems to be holding off steadily north of 106. Uh, RSI just bouncing off the oversold territory. The pound looking to stay north of 124. RSI has completely bounced off the oversold territory. So let's see if 125 can be the target for it. And we can probably see that happening as we see the dollar index continues to, let's see if it just does a correction and towards the 105 500 and that will obviously uh, help the currencies move higher to their to the targets 124 for 125 for the pound 107 for the euro for over 2400 as we see the dollar in this just if it drops you know if it just continues to de depreciate but it's holding steady so far that's it for me today have a great trading day and i'll see you tomorrow